So I decided to eat 1,000 calories a day, every day for one week. And this is what happened. Alright my ninja squad, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So if you guys have been following me for a little while, then you probably know I competed in my first ever bodybuilding show about a month ago. I'll link to the full YouTube video right up here if you want to go check out the competition, but it was super awesome and I spent the entire few months beforehand leaning down as much as possible, eating in a deficit, doing cardio, doing heavy consistent weight training, and I got really freaking peeled. So then show day came, show day went, and I decided just to eat myself into oblivion. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, the show was super fun and super cool and I loved getting down to that like amount of shreddedness. Like it was freaking crazy. But like after suppressing my appetite for that long, you just wanna go out and binge eat like every single night. And that's pretty much what I did. So every single day for like the week or two after the show, I would just like stuff myself, like just overeating every single day to the point where I was already past full and my stomach was just hurting because of how much food I was actually taking in. This is very unhealthy obviously and I would never recommend this to anyone. And looking back, <laughs> I just had very poor self-control. But the the post bodybuilding competition rebound combined with a little trip to Tennessee that I took for a week. So I was on vacation and I was doing my thing and you know what, all that kind of accumulated between the poor eating, the poor workouts, and I ended up losing a lot of my definition. Now this is to be expected because I wasn't necessarily trying to maintain a super lean physique after the show, but I definitely wanted to stay in better shape than what I let myself get to. So. I decided we're gonna try this out. Now you guys saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, eating 1,000 calories a day. That is right, 1,000 calories a day, every day for a week. Now I actually got this idea from watching Exercise for Cheat Meals, who literally just the other day put out his like 12 day transformation like literally as I was filming this video. So I promise I'm not trying to copy his content, but I thought it was a really good idea and I wanted to get myself back under control anyway. So sharing credit where credit is due, go check out Exercise for Cheat Meals channel. He just posted his 12 day transformation. If you want to see how somebody else kind of dealt with this over a longer period of time. So anyways, I was feeling very bad about myself and just thinking, what can I possibly do to get myself closer to how I looked post show? Now again, I'm not trying to maintain like 6% body fat, but I definitely didn't want to be as bloated as I felt. And that's when I kind of came across some of Nick's videos about doing his 1,000 calories a day, and that gave me an idea. I was like, you know, let's try eating 1,000 calories a day every day for a week. So starting things off, this is pretty much how I was looking, guys. So again, I felt absolutely terrible right here. I mean, you can see I'm not really smiling. I don't seem too happy, and yeah, I just felt really bad about myself. You know, letting your physique get out of control, especially after you spend, like I did, 90 days, literally 90 days prepping for the competition, getting super, super dialed in and having the most self-control in the world. Like, I swear, I wouldn't even eat like one extra chocolate chip if that wasn't gonna add up to the right number of grams on the food scale. Like, that level of self-control gets you that shredded and then you just go from that to this. And it seems like it was just overnight that it happened, but I mean, really, it was over the course of a few weeks and just binging very regularly and not managing my nutrition well at all. So anyways, this is how we were looking at the start of the transformation. So at this point, I had not even done one day of eating 1000 calories yet. So this is just kind of before the entire diet kicked in. And I mean, just comparing really quick my physique in this video compared to how I was basically on show day, you can see I put on a significant amount of fat and some of it, yeah, is probably just some extra water retention because I was super depleted for the show. And here I'm just eating as many carbs and sodium as I could possibly ingest. But I mean, overall, I definitely look like I've accumulated body fat and even lost a little bit of muscle, which honestly, I don't think I lost any muscle at all. We'll get into that a little bit later, but this is just my immediate before picture. All right, so let's break down a little bit about my diet versus my training versus my daily schedule. Just kind of how I fit 1,000 calorie diets into my normal day activities because this is not something that I normally do. Also, a huge disclaimer before we get into this, like I said in a previous video, this is not a sustainable diet and I am not recommending this to anyone as a strategy. This is simply an experiment that I did over the course of seven days to see what me personally, what I could do to change my body just by following this routine. Again, I'm not prescribing this or advocating for this. I personally think this is pretty unhealthy to do, 
long term, but I do think it serves its purposes as like a fat loss sprint and it comes in clutch in cases like this or if you're like rebounding and you have another show or a photo shoot or something like that. All right, so looking into my diet, I actually did a full day of eating video. So if you want to go check that out, I'll link it right up here. You know, I'll take you through my full day of eating 1000 calories. And again, I'm eating right around 1000 calories and I had over 100 grams of protein this day. So if you want like my full meals, like breakdowns, the macros, everything like that, make sure you go watch the video. I also take you through one of my calisthenic workouts that I did. But if you're more interested, go watch the video and then come back. But overall, I was eating pretty much the same thing day to day because it was super easy just to keep it consistent. Eating a thousand calories was not a lot of fun. So the worst thing I was going to do is try to switch it up and then give myself like a, a headache. I decided it would just be easiest if I stuck with the same foods every single day for seven days. So that's literally what I did. As you can imagine, you want to stick to very, very low calorie, high protein foods. So basically my diet consisted of chicken, eggs, Greek yogurt and about as much like zero to low calorie stuff as I could fit in there. And like I said, even with this super restricted diet, I was still able to get over 100 grams of protein every single day. So if you or someone you know is struggling with getting protein in, because let's face it, a lot of people when they're new to fitness, they don't really know how to get protein in their diet. And if they're saying that they're struggling to hit 100 grams of protein and they're still eating like two or 3,000 calories a day, you just need to make the smart decisions when it comes to low calorie foods and make sure you're getting the biggest bang for your buck for protein to calorie ratio. All right, in terms of my training, I'm currently running a five day powerlifting bodybuilding split. So it's kind of a mix of powerlifting and bodybuilding. And I'm only working out five days a week, which means I have two days technically off, but one day I do a calisthenics workout, which is what I showed in the previous full day of eating video. And then the seventh day, I pretty much normally just do my tricking and stuff like that. Oh, also, if you're new to the channel or you haven't seen, I do a bunch of flips and uh, things like this. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and uh, stay tuned because big tricks coming soon. Now, unfortunately, I didn't really take any footage during this week. Like I said, I just really was unhappy how I was looking, how I was feeling. You know, as you can imagine, you spend three months prepping and then you just lose it all like that. You feel pretty bad about yourself. So you probably don't want to be putting yourself on camera. So that's kind of what I did. And unfortunately, I don't have a ton of comparisons to go to, but after one week, this is the after footage. So I will say there are a few key differences I'd like to highlight here. First of all, it's a different setting, right? So the lighting is going to be a little bit different. This is in the locker room at the gym. So I did just do a workout. I have a slight pump here, not a crazy pump, but definitely noticeable. So just keep those things in mind when you're looking at like before and after transformations, the settings might not always be the same. Now, to be honest, I do really like the way I look in this video a whole lot better than the first video, because I just feel like I put in the work after these seven days and you can see a little bit of a change. There's honestly not a huge amount of difference, but in most cases guys when you're dieting even if you're doing an extreme diet it's going to take several weeks if not over a month to really start to see some visual changes now something that could change pretty quickly is like the number on the scale weight can actually fluctuate very rapidly especially when you're talking about water weight fluctuation that stuff goes up and down by like five pounds every single day so looking a little bit more specifically at the after footage versus the before footage i think most people are going to be able to tell there's some new level of lean here again not like a super amount of new leanness but definitely noticeable to the eye you can tell I'm a little bit leaner in this and I think overall just a surprisingly more fuller look which might be due to a little bit of leanness because if you guys have like cut or bulked before you're very much aware that as you get leaner even though you're physically shrinking like everything is shrinking you're losing body fat right you're probably losing a tiny bit of muscle your weight is going down you take up less mass but you look bigger right and that's just due to the body fat coming off and having new definition in certain areas new striations things like that that like accentuate the muscles so all of that just kind of enhances the look makes you look a little bit bigger a little bit fuller again i do have a slight pump in the after video so that could also be contributing to it as well but overall i am happy i feel like i'm a little bit bigger here a little bit leaner here which 
is all I was going for from this diet. And I was trying to pose during this clip, but then some dude just walked in at the end, so that's what this clip is. So anyways, after watching all this, you might be wondering, why would you put yourself through that? You know, as opposed to just doing like a more longer, drawn out diet. And the first answer is because I already did that and I don't want to again. Like I said, I spent three months prepping for my show and I didn't really want to do that again at all. But I would like to do a little bit of a mini cut. And the reason why is because I am planning on starting my bulk early this year. All right, so normally when I do my bulk, I start the 1st of September and I go for like six months. But this year, I'm gonna start early. I'm gonna start August 1st and we're gonna go for seven months. When I competed in my show, guys, I got a ton of compliments from the coaches and the judges, but the one thing they said is just, you know, keep doing what you're doing just keep adding mass it takes time and i totally agree you can't rush the process unless you're gonna like dip in to the dark side but if you're a natural lifter you can't rush muscle growth all right it is a slow process and i want to give myself as much of a boost as possible this year because i already knew i wasn't gonna try to maintain a super lean physique all summer like i did last year right if you guys go check out my videos from last summer i was relatively lean like the entire summer and i can remember i I had bad cravings every single day because I was like restricting my calories pretty much every single day since I started my cut in March and then I finished my cut cut in like May or June but then I continued to restrict myself all the way through June July and August because I wanted to stay lean for social media and social media does play a really big part in anybody who creates contents life because again the better you look the more views you're gonna get even if the content isn't that good but I think for me right now in the rest of this year I really just want to prioritize getting as big and strong as possible so before even doing my post show rebound I already was comfortable with the fact that I was going to put on a little more body fat than I usually did afterwards. It just ended up being a lot more than I was anticipating, so I decided let's trim it back a little bit because I wanted to dial it back to a little bit of a leaner physique right before I go into my bulk because once I start doing that, then I really don't want to have to cut. And I just want to see what numbers we can put up this year, all right? I'm really coming for some powerlifting goals, really coming for some bodybuilding size goals next year. And I have gotten a few questions about if I'm going to compete again. And as of right now, my answer is, I don't know. Well, actually, I should rephrase that. My answer is yes, I will definitely compete again at some point. I just don't know if it will be next year or if it is next year, what time. I really love to do it again next year, especially because I'm going to dedicate the rest of this year in this whole prep just to getting as much mass and strength as possible so that way I can really come in strong after my cut next spring but I'm also going to be graduating doing a whole bunch of other important stuff in my life at that point so I'm not sure where I will be or where I can compete so I will keep you guys updated but all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the transformation I hope you learned something from this or can take something away again if you do want to see my last video I'll link it right up here if you haven't seen my summer shredding play playlist and you want to I'll link that right up here as well again this is my prep for the show but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it give it a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one peace out